big discounts. The swim trunks, big discounts. The t-shirts, big discounts. The man thongs. Hey there folks and welcome back to the Pits of YouTube. I'm on my way on this beautiful, rainy, gloomy, it's a perfect day for a thrift store. What do you say? And we're headed to a thrift shop and we're going to make a little bit of profit today. And I want to talk about this money-making strategy that I have as the seasons change. I'm curious to hear if any of you out there do this as well. As the seasons change, a lot of thrift stores, especially the mom and pop stores, they have to rotate their inventory and make room for stuff, particularly clothing, big discounts on jackets, warm weather clothing as we're going from winter into spring, vice versa. When we're going out from summer into winter, big discounts, swim trunks, the t-shirts, the man thongs. And you'll also see this stuff as well with like Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and, and Valentine's Day. And you can really find some good deals as the seasons are changing and after the holidays happen. And that's when I like to hit up thrift stores to see what those discounts are and pick up some cheap stuff. But here's the thing, I don't sell them right away. I pack them up, I put them in a box, I put them in storage. I just pack up a few boxes along along the way and then unpack it and resell when the season hits. This also happens with sports, especially with football stuff. Football and team apparel, usually I hold on to it until football season. Same with same with the NBA or the MLB. That stuff will sell, of course, year round. But whenever I have the space, I put stuff in a box, put it in storage and wait till the season comes back around. And so generally you're buying stuff at its lowest point when it's off season and you're selling it and you're selling it when it's in season at its higher premium point. And off we go into Salvation Army looking for those jackets, those big discounts, half off those green, yellow, pink tags. And spoiler alert, just like always, we will be finding some half off tags. We're headed over to these barren shelves and I see something even though I wasn't sure of what it might be. It's a little jiggly if you know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying, you might still not know what I'm saying, but that's okay. I don't know what I'm saying. Jigglers, this vintage packaging caught my eye. Never saw these before, but I checked them out and some of these have some real value. 50 bucks in some cases. I was actually really shocked. I think I can get about 20 bucks and this was on sale half off. So I only paid a buck for this. I think I can get about 20 bucks. Found these Boy Scout mugs. There's a set of four or five here. Thought they might have some value, but they don't. Even 10 of them are only selling for about $28. Cool to see out in the wilds, but uh, definitely not worth anything. Then I find these jackets. This is what we're here for. This, As the season changes, these jackets are on heavy discount, half off. I find this True Grit brand. I, I like I like selling True Grit. I'm not sure if people know about this brand, but uh, it's pretty high quality uh, items out there and they sell for about 50 to 60 dollars i think i'm going to get about 50 or 60 uh when it comes in i'll wait until the fall again to put this out i never saw this little patch this logo i wasn't sure if this was like some knockoff random jacket or what but it seemed really high quality i did find this tag inside uh, it's called the refrigerware um, which makes me think maybe it's like a, a jacket for people that work in you know beverages or some sort of kitchen delivery maybe grocery stores or whatnot has some real value 60 70 bucks in some cases so i'm i'm definitely gonna to pick this up that was also half off now columbia is a brand i've mentioned this before and it's a hit or miss some of their items have value some don't uh, very much seasonal as well but there's something about this that caught my eye. It's just really high quality material. The jacket, the, the the kind of the trim line of what it looked like. It just looked like a really nice jacket. And it was 35 bucks, which was, uh, it was a lot for a used jacket. But I ended up finding that this is like an Omni Heat ski jacket insulated parka type jacket. And I think I can get like 55, 60 bucks come the fall or winter. So I picked that up. And I think I can at least double my money. Same thing with this Arctic wear. Uh, half off and I think I paid 10 bucks for this again I wasn't sure if Arctic Cat was a company or or if it was a jacket that uh, a third-party company ordered from another which might devalue it for example uh, but Arctic Cat was the actual brand so again these vintage jackets I think I can get 60 to 70 bucks for this baby and that's pretty awesome I did find this ugly sweater but I don't like to call them ugly because here on Thrift Boss we want everything to feel as beautiful as they truly are but ugly sweaters slash beautiful sweaters they they tend to sell really well in november december when people start looking at those christmas parties i'm going to hold on to this i think i can get maybe 40 bucks for this and again this is half off i think i paid five bucks for this and it's a really high quality very thick 
uh, material and really nice sweater. So I'm, I'm picking that up. Then I found this hat. Baseball season's right around the corner. If it hasn't started already, I'm not sure. I don't follow baseball, but brand new hat and it has some value, almost 30 bucks. And it was on sale for five bucks. Pick this up and I'm going to be selling that as baseball. Uh, those bats are swinging. Now I find these Crocs. Everybody knows Crocs new and used they tend to do well these one actually had these like bedazzled i don't know what these things are these charms and i think i can get like 25 bucks these are translucent crocs so they have a little bit more value than traditionally just pink crocs and i pick these up and i think i get 25 30 bucks so let's talk some numbers invested about 50 bucks today 384 dollars is my gross estimated amount keep in mind that 384 dollars isn't going to actually hit my pocket until the weather turns cold and i put those jackets up for sale in the fall or winter time 384 dollars does also include the shipping costs that i collect from the buyers Selling fees, 15% shipping fees, the ship that I'm gonna have to pay about 156 bucks on eBay. Supplies two bucks, leaving a net with about $176. Now I'm not a tax pro, I do put 15% aside of that net. So it's about $27 that I put aside for the following tax year. I'm not a tax pro, don't listen to me. Just do what's best for you, talk to your tax pro. Ta travel, shop, list, pack, ship. We're talking about a 10 minute round trip. This store is super close. Shopping, I was in and out in 20 to 25 minutes. List, this is gonna be about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Pack this stuff up it's going to be about 20 minutes or so ship maybe five minutes leaving us about an hour and a half hourly rate 117 dollars or after tax take that 27 dollars out 99 dollars an hour awesome day i'll take it every time i hope you guys had a good time i sure did life is beautiful get out there shop your little butt away and we'll see you next time